creative friends I hope you're doing well this is the last video of 2020 and what better way to close off this year than by sending out your best wishes for 2021 with your personal artistic touch and what's better it is super easy and you will have to create the artwork only once I also want to mention that I have a few goodies so make sure that you stick around until the end for that all right, so to begin with the artwork, I used a six by nine piece of watercolor paper and I wet the back first so that I would have minimum a warpage, that's a word, and then I wet the uh, top part again. So of course I'm doing that with clean water. So when you're doing this, you wanna go right up to the edges and you want as even a coverage as possible. The main intention is not to create any puddles of water. The measuring guide for me is always, does my paper look glossy? Which means, does it have a beautiful sheen? So I usually hold it up to the light, tilt it to see if I have an even coverage. And you'll see me doing that in a few seconds. The color I chose for this guy is Prussian Blue and I wanted to have a bit of movement so I wasn't aiming to have a smooth blending. I wanted to see some brush strokes so I kept on adding the color until I thought I had the right amount. However, I kind of forgot that watercolor paint dries lighter and in this case it's very important to remember because I'm going to add white text over the image later. To make it more interesting, I also decided to add quinacridone magenta and just blend it in with the Prussian blue. Then it was time to splash a bit of gold and please remember that at this stage the paper is still wet so the gold is going to bloom into the other color so this is the first layer of gold that I'm going to be adding. When I add water to both sides of the paper, I like to let it air dry, but this time I didn't have that luxury, so I used the heat tool to uh, dry it, and there was no warping. So it's a very good way to stretch your paper without having to tape it down. And once the paper was completely dry, I started adding the doodles. So my doodles consisted of large stars, uh, asterisks, 
plus signs and dots of varying sizes and I'm using a very small brush this is a 20 on zero round brush and I'll list all the supplies that I used in the description of this video so you can refer to it if you have any questions on what I have used I would caution you not to add any doodles in the middle of the painting just because that's where we're going to add the text. So if there are doodles in the background, it's going to get very confusing to read the, the sentiment. I just love how this starry night background turned out. It makes me happy and it puts me in a good dreamy mood. So next I'm going to show you how to set this painting as a background to be used for New Year's postcards that you can then send out via email or post or your social media. The instructions I'll give you will be for an iPhone because this is the phone that I have, but I'm sure there are equivalent apps for Android. So first I'll start by taking a photo with the, um, the camera app on my phone and I'll get in as close as possible. If I see a bit of the uh, table background, it doesn't matter. I can cut that out in the edit afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna find the photos app and find my picture. Here it is. You'll notice that it's a little different because I had to retake the picture from home. And I'm gonna hit edit. From here, I'm going to choose the third icon or the last icon at the bottom, which is the um, straightening tool. And I'm going to grab one of the corners at the bottom here to remove the background. I might have to crop the photo a little bit, but that's okay. So there it is we have the full background then I'm going to hit the dial which is um, I, th I believe it's called the adjustment uh, tool which is the first icon on the left right at the bottom and from there you've got a whole bunch of choices yeah, as you can see if you scroll through this you're gonna see a whole bunch of choices if you hit auto um, I'm just gonna show you it's going to guess as, as to what you want to do so I'm not liking this because I've noticed that it lightens up the middle of the painting and it, it'll make the message a little bit more difficult to uh, read. So I hit the auto again to cancel that out. I'm going to play with the exposure. So if I just go left, it's going to darken up a little bit that portion of the blue which is what I want. The middle part is a little too light. And then I might even play with the brilliance. See if I can bring a little bit of that gold. And then just, just a question of playing around. Maybe the saturation would be also a good one to play with. There we go. I can see that the gold has uh, was brought back a little bit, even the vibrance. All right, so when you're happy with your adjustments, 
you're going to go to the top right corner where there's a circle with three dots. You're going to click on that and that will bring up the sub menu. You're going to choose markup. And instead of choosing all these pens at the bottom, you're going to click on the circle with the plus sign. That will allow you to include text. So you're going to choose text. So when uh, you see that you have that box there, you might want to drag those two blue circles to the left and to the right so that your text box is a little bit bigger. And I'm going to also uh, make sure that I have the font that I want. So I'm going to click on these double A's at the bottom. I like Helvetica. I'm not crazy about the other two, but I want it a little bit bigger. So it's just a matter of dragging um, on the scale right there. I like center line, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then I'm going to choose my color. I want white text, so I will click on that circle with the multicolors and then go to the top left and choose white and then click on that circle right next to the plus sign again to make that menu disappear. And now I just double click on text to start writing my message. So I'm going to type wishing you a healthy and abundant oh, my text box was not large enough 2021 I'm going to click on done just to see what it looks like. Obviously, I don't like the text because there are too many lines. So if you go back to the markup section by clicking on the three little dots inside the circle at the top right, you'll be able to adjust the width of the text box by grabbing the two blue circles on each side. As a way to thank you for all your support and your sweet comments throughout the year, I put together two different versions of the New Year's wishes that I wrote myself on the iPad in case you don't like to fiddle around with your phone or that you don't like the fonts the app offers. And for those that want to use their artwork and are proficient with software like Adobe Photoshop or even Procreate on the iPad, I also saved both versions of just the sentiments as PNG files that you can digitally overlay on your artwork. You'll find these four files on my Patreon page in a public post so you don't have to be a member to grab them. And I will put the link in the description below. Feel free to send any of these to your loved ones by email, post them on Facebook or Instagram, or send them as a message, etc. They are clear of copyrights. Finally, I would like to wish you all a wonderful rest of the year. May your 2021 be healthy, abundant, and creative, and I will see you in the new year. Bye!